or you were looking so sharp that when someone else was doing an interview with me, they said you're looking sharp. So um, how are you feeling going into this fight? I mean, I'm ready. Had a good camp. I'm ready to get it over with. Ready to get in the ring. Show you, show you about you know what Maurice Hooker about. So what are you about? Kind of explain to people who don't know you, like what's your style and all that stuff. I mean, I'm a boxer. I love, I love to use my jab. If I can, I beat you with my jab. But I'm always going for a knock at the big right hand. But I can't be working on my left hook. So I won't be surprised I knocked him out of my left hook in the early rounds. So he's going to bed? Real early. And who's your team uh, consisted of that you were working in the ring and all that stuff? Uh, Ernie Verbeek, my manager. Ali and Vince Perry and Miss Stacey Verbeek. And Chad. Chad is my conditioning coach. Yes. Okay. And uh, tell us a little bit about your opponent. Do you know much about him? He's Southpaw and he a dead man. <laughs> Well, expl <laughs> I, I don't really know how to respond to that one. That, that, you got me speechless. So what about him is going to make him dead? <laughs> Just by him getting in the ring with me. Okay. And I also saw that you wanted Antonio Orozco. I was looking at a video. Man, I take whoever. I don't care who it is. You can call it Terrence Crawford or anybody. I'm ready. So I looked at your record, and you have the record of a man that seems like it, um, a lot of guys are ducking. You have a, a lot of wins, two draws that probably might have not, might have been a little suspect to say the least. And the way I saw you in the ring in there, you look very tough. So is that kind of what's going on, you think? I mean, I think a lot of people don't want to fight me, especially people with the belts. You know, they got a lot to lose when they fight me. I got everything to gain, nothing to lose. I mean, I just want to be the best. Uh, my draws, the first time I fought my first puff, I fought somebody like seven and one. I beat him in his hometown. I ain't even my first uh, professional fight. I beat him. Nah, but you know how they go. Crab boot them and everything. But I just want the best, man. I want whoever next. I'm ready. And um, I guess finally, what's your world rankings? I guess that's the way you have to be. Because I look at a guy like J-Rock, and that kind of reminds me of where you're at, where you have to use these world rankings to get that big fight. Uh, yes, man. I'm just, I'm ready. I'm, I think I'm number seven in, uh, in, in uh, WBO. I mean, that's not good enough. I want to be number one. And WC, WBO, I mean, anything, man. I want my name number one and all. So I'm taking, you know, I'm doing whatever it takes to get there. So everybody, everybody watch out for me. I'm coming.